Now, evidence exists that anesthetic administered to young brains may cause changes associated with long-term behavioral uh, abnormalities. We have recently reported in April issue of anesthesiology that exposure to anesthesia before the age of four uh, can have some uh, consequences of subsequent development of uh, learning uh, disability. And what we uh, found is that if the, uh, uh, the children bet between birth and age of four, if they had a repeated anesthetic, uh, they have uh, increased incidence of learning disabilities. However, if they had a single anesthetic, the learning uh, in incidence of the disabilities uh, was not uh, increased. Uh, although we proved that the single exposure uh, to anesthetic did not increase incidence of learning disabilities. We still don't know if it's possible that if we expose the uh, brain at earlier age, such we did in this study uh, during uh, uh, labor and delivery, can cause some learning disability. Uh, we conducted a large Burke co cohort uh, study in uh, uh, Olmsted County, Minnesota, on over 5,000 children to evaluate whether uh, exposure to anesthesia during labor and delivery has any adverse effect of subsequent development of uh, learning disabilities. The main finding are, of our study are that the incidence of learning disability was comparable between patients who, uh, uh, between uh, uh, children who were delivered uh, uh, vaginally and in those who were delivered via cesarean section but had a general anesthesia. This incidence was about uh, uh, 20 percent. However, patients who delivered, uh, who were delivered uh, under cesarean section uh, and had a regional anesthesia had substantially reduced uh, risk of development later uh, in life learning disability and this risk was reduced for about uh, 40 percent. Now, the equally important finding of, of our study is that a single exposure to anesthesia during labor and delivery did not increase the incidence of learning disability in, in these children later in life. Certainly this doesn't mean that the uh, uh, vaginal delivery uh, are bad. Uh, vaginal delivery is a natural birth and it's difficult to uh, argue with nature. So for now, I believe that still vaginal delivery uh, represents a, a gold uh, standard. Uh, at the same time, we have to take into account that cesarean delivery is not without a risk. This risk can be minimal in this country, can be much higher in some other countries. So any other uh, discussions that are related to the option which uh, uh, type of delivery is better, has to take into consideration these risk factors that uh, uh, cesarean uh, delivery also has, which certainly were not taken into consideration in uh, the present study. Clearly this study is a very preliminary study. It finds an association between two things. One is the type of cesarean delivery that, uh, that a child uh, uh, that determined the way the child was delivered, either under regional anesthesia, vaginally, or, or uh, under general anesthesia. The, those were associated with differences in learning disabilities as the child attended school. We know that they're associated, but we don't know that the type of anesthesia the child was exposed to had any impact on this, uh, the differences in learning disability, we simply know they were associated. It's important to recognize that there may be many other factors that impact uh, learning disability. Some of those factors we are able to account for in the study, but there are other factors that we could not account for. The Rochester Epidemiology Project is a, is a uh, continuously funded uh, NIH uh, a program that allows uh, uh, the Mayo Clinic to access the medical records of all Olmstead County residents, whether they uh, receive their health care here at the Mayo Clinic or elsewhere. Um, that has been continuously funded since the early 1960s. That in combination with a very robust medical record allows us to have very uh, detailed information about all as aspects of the health care of Olmsted County residents. Um, we use that information along with information 
we obtained from an agreement with the Rochester schools to look at the health care, but all, not only the health care, but also the school performance of a large number, more than 5,000 children.